What's up guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Apologies in advance for wearing a tank. I know it's a little douchey, but I'm going to the gym right after this and I wanted to crank a video out for you guys. Today, we are gonna be talking about breakfast foods and we're gonna be ranking all the classic breakfast foods on a tier list and for those of you who don't know, I absolutely love breakfast food, but I miss it so much because I usually eat one meal a day or intermittent fast, so I only eat dinner, so it's skipping breakfast and lunch. With that being said though, sometimes I love breakfast food so much that I still eat it for dinner, but whenever I travel or I go on dates, I do eat brunch breakfast so I, I miss it i miss it honestly uh i got a tier list here pulled up breakfast food tier list maker uh very very extravagant name i know but we got 47 of the classic breakfast foods that we're gonna be ranking on this tier list from best great good mid and bad specifically with breakfast foods and yeah without further ado let's get into this it's gonna be an easy one i think actually maybe not some of these are bangers. Uh, let's see. So first off, we're going to be doing alphabetical, I believe. Uh, it's apple juice. Apple juice is a banger. Uh, I think orange orange juice versus apple juice, right? The classic debate. David versus Goliath, uh, they might say. <laughs> I think I prefer apple juice, but I can drink more of orange juice. Like more, I can drink more orange juice in a day than I can apple juice, but I, if I had to pick one to drink right now, I'm gonna pick apple juice. But between the two, it's really hard. I know that it makes zero sense, but um, I think apple juice is a banger. For breakfast, uh, I mean, it's, it's gonna go in great. I love an apple juice. Who doesn't like apple juice? As especially as a, if you're a kid, man. Apple juice slapped. All right, banana. Ooh, banana as a breakfast uh, or bananas in general. I'm gonna be honest with you, they're all right. I know a, a bananas have hardcore stands out there. You guys are gonna the the banana fans. <laughs> you guys are gonna crucify me for this, but I think bananas are a little mid. Uh, I just they're fine. I mean, they they got interesting texture they're a little soft you know they're fine they don't have that much flavor to me i think that's what it is unless if we're talking plantains it would be go a little higher but bananas themselves they're kind of mid i'd still eat them though so i'm not gonna put them in bad all right the back the breakfast burrito or some would say the peak of culinary fusion no not really but breakfast burritos are delicious i mean you got eggs sausage uh, it's usually cheese inside of a tortilla you can't really complain about that i think breakfast foods breakfast burritos is gonna be a great for me um, I, th I like it more than apple juice i almost want to demote apple juice to good but no i, I like both of these very well I, it, it's hard to fuck up a breakfast burrito in my opinion i don't think it's good enough to go in best though rice for breakfast interesting uh i guess this isn't alphabetical or this somehow miraculously moved up here oh wait no this isn't alphabetical at all <laughs> i'm stupid anyways uh, rice for breakfast we're gonna talk about rice as a breakfast food because this is a breakfast tier list not just as a food as overall i am gonna be honest don't prefer rice in the morning i know i'm asian and some of you guys might think we only eat rice and for those of you that think that you guys are correct my parents love rice they'll eat that shit in the morning but personally um, this is my tier list and so i think rice is going to be fine I think it's a good supplementary item that you eat with something else, but it can't carry a breakfast by itself. A breakfast burrito can carry itself. Sometimes you could just drink an apple juice in the morning. And speaking of drinking, we got coffee. Coffee is the best. And reason being, it's a fucking drug. You're telling me I get to take a drug in the morning that's going to get me amped up for the rest of the day? Absolutely. Am I a caffeine addict? Yes. Uh, I love coffee. So uh, yeah, I can't complain. I will say I don't drink it black. If we're talking black coffee, I'd put it in mid. Um, but coffee itself, it's best. Come on. Why do you think Starbucks is one of the most popular food chains in all of America and the world? Coffee is just absolute banger. Uh, best. Too easy. Pastry. Okay. This one's tough. I absolutely love sweets, okay? As a breakfast item, it can be a little hearty. You eat a pastry uh, in the morning and you you know, you know can feel a little slumped. You get that sugar crash, something like that, similar to that of coffee. But I love me a cheese danish. Is cheese danish on this list separately? It's not, so I'm also gonna count this as cheese danish. I'm gonna put this in grape, at the end of grape. That's what I would say. Um, yeah, all right, now we're going on donuts. Donuts is a very controversial one because people fucking love donuts in America. We're all fat pieces of shit. I do like a donut. I will say donuts for me, it just depends on what shop we're going to. If we're going, to, if we're in New York, donuts are fucking S tier, right? If we're at Krispy Kreme, donuts are S tier. If we're at Dunkin' Donuts, donuts are mid. So it's like tough to rank donuts, but the overall classic donut I think belongs in good. I prefer a cheese danish than the average donut. Obviously, Krispy Kreme and New York donuts would go up here, but we're gonna put them in good. Average them out. 
All right, we got English muffins. Okay. I used to be an English muffin hater. I ain't gonna lie with you guys. I used to think they were extremely mid until I grew older and tried this phenomenal English muffin that I had in Raleigh, North Carolina. With that being said, the average English muffin sucks a ball sack. Normally, I'd put an English muffin right here, but I have tried some good ones in my life, so I'm gonna average that into the midsection because I would still eat an English muffin if I had some jam. Um, it's gonna be hard for me to put anything bad unless I really, really don't like it, so we'll see if anything even makes it there. Um, French toast. Ooh, the, the common trio debate between French toast, waffles, and pancakes. This one's really tough for me. I love all three. I would eat all three almost equally. They're barely better than the others. I will say, Two of them are better than the other, and French toast is one of the two that I do like. I'm going to put French toast in great. I'm actually going to put them above all of these. Yeah, I love a French toast, bro. French toast is delicious. I think this is the one of the top sweet breakfasts, in my opinion. All right, we got a fruit salad. Nothing like fruit in the morning. Although I'll say fruit don't carry a breakfast. I like a fruit salad. I don't love a fruit salad. Will I take it for breakfast? Depending on the fruits, yes. So I'll probably put it at the end of good i might have to put it at mid actually i'm thinking about it nah there's some fruits that are really good that i could i could literally just eat fruits in the morning yeah yeah, yeah. i'll put it up there i like i just don't want just rice in the morning you know all right grits very polarizing i live in the south grits is huge here people fucking love grits people love shrimp and grits people love sweet grits people love butter it's everything at the end of the day, it's mushy rice to me. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I think I prefer it over banana. And I'd probably prefer it over rice in the morning. But nothing over these. I'm going to put the English muffin above banana. I know, I'm going to get so much hate for this section right here. But it, th that's just my opinion, guys. And this is my tier list. And I'm always right. I'm just playing. Oh, and this is a great time for me to say, if you guys like my content, make sure you hit the sub button. Because I'm almost at 6,000. Love you guys so much. And uh, yeah, let's get back to it. Ham. Ooh, ham is interesting. It's a great uh, side item. Paired with rice, both would go much higher. I'm thinking of it as a individual breakfast food. I think it's fine. I like ham. I could eat ham by itself if I need to. I like it more than these, but I don't love it. A hard-boiled egg, very mid, especially in the morning. I think that's the, that is the most mid item you can possibly think of. So I'm gonna put it at the end. It's fine. I'd rather take um, a deviled egg than a hard boiled. Yeah, it's just kind of flavorless to me. Kind of like banana. All right, hash browns. Fucking love hash browns, bro. Hash browns are going to the best. I could eat hash browns all day. Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and move up French toast too because now I'm thinking about it, bro. French toast deserves this best spot. It doesn't dethrone hash browns though. I love a hash brown. Come on, McDonald's. Hat. You can't fuck up a hash brown, bro. Waffle House, McDonald's, all of it. All right, avocado toast. Ooh, the peak of Californian food. Avocado toast, toast is such a white girl food and classic basic food, but it's so good. I'm not going to lie. I've ordered an avocado toast many times, and as much as I would love to hate it, as everyone does, I'm going to have to put it in the great section. I do enjoy an avocado toast. Uh, I think I'm going to actually move up pastry above apple juice. And yeah, I... I like an avocado toast. What can I say? All right, we got bacon. You guys are going to hate this take because Americans love bacon. Like It's like they die for bacon. Bacon everywhere. You go to a grocery store, it's bacon, bacon, bacon. I go to a breakfast place. Almost every single combo meal has bacon in it for breakfast or brunch. But I think it's fine. I just think it's overrated. Um, I think it's good. I, I think it's going to go. I think fruit salad goes right here mm, yeah i rearranged this i think bacon goes right behind donut above fruit salad it's fine Ooh, i love me some crepes uh sweet or savory i enjoy both i think they're a great form of a breakfast item i don't know what i, I, I was going with that but I, I like a crepe i'm gonna go great for grape. probably love apple juice i'm debating on demoting apple juice to good no no no, no. i think that's valid uh crepes would i take crepes over avocado toast that one's tough. It depends on my mood for that. These three are tied for me, I'm going to say. Um, all right, a croissant. Oh, fuck, dude. This one's tough because croissants can be the best. They can be the worst if they're dry. Um, oh, that's a polarizing one. I'm going to put croissant very high on my list. I'm going to put it right at great between avocado and a pastry because more than likely you're going to get a good croissant. It's really hard to fuck that up, but I've had some shit ones before. Oh, bagel. Bagel is another one like that. 
you can have the worst bagel ever or you can go to new york and have the best bagel ever bagel does this count yeah i'm gonna say with cream cheese and stuff is it slaps i'll take it over a donut i put a bagel at the end of not right above donuts for me it's good it's really good would i go out of my way for it sometimes but not often yeah i'm good with that the two with the holes banana bread okay interesting i love banana bread i don't really consider it a breakfast item i would put banana bread at the end of good i like it more than these i don't love it love it oh a biscuit i'm southern guys i love me a biscuit um but i've had some dry biscuits out there that's gonna weigh this down overall i think it's a good food item i think it goes right above a bacon for me yep potatoes okay uh also good not that great could i eat potatoes alone for breakfast i could eat potatoes alone for breakfast i think it's gonna go at the way end of good almost mid but uh yeah i put it here I'm trying to think should i upgrade any of these no i feel like this is a pretty valid list so far all right breakfast sandwich oh my god this is such a diverse item because a breakfast sandwich can be your classic McDonald's. It could be even a Chick-fil-A, or it could be the ones you make at home. Is it with English muffin? Is it with a bagel? There's a lot of things that come into play here. Overall, though, I will love a bit breakfast sandwich. I'm going to put a breakfast sandwich next to a breakfast burrito. These two are neck and neck for me. Uh, I'd probably take a burrito over a sandwich, though. So I'll put that there. Cereal. Fuck. Okay. I know you guys are going to be like, oh my God, Loon, how could you put these here and cereal at the top? Cereal is just so king. You can do so much with cereal. There's so many different cereals, fucking Fruity Pebble Slap, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. There's never a time where they're, you're like, hey, Loon, do you want cereal? And I'm like, no, of course I want cereal. Cereal fucking slaps. Why do you think it's the pinnacle of breakfast? The only reason coffee's on top of it is because coffee's a literal drug. All right, um, chicken and waffles. Oh, supreme. Too easy. Chicken and waffles. The only thing that's keeping it from the way top of this list is just pure fact of it being a little too heavy. But I love it. I, God, I love chicken and waffles. If you have never had chicken and waffles, go ahead and, and go to a store and buy chicken and waffles. Um, the real debate here is should I put coffee, cereal or coffee at the top? I, I drink more coffee every day than I eat cereal, so I'm going to count that there. Cinnamon roll. Fuck, this one's tough. It's a little too sweet sometimes in the morning. It's a little too hearty, but I love a cinnamon roll. I think it's going to go in great right next to pastry. I'd probably take a cheese danish over a cinnamon roll, though, if I'm being honest. I know that's a hot take. Muffin. I, I like muffins. I don't love them. Will I eat them for breakfast? Uh, sure. I think they're fine. They go right above uh, but potatoes. I take banana bread over a muffin, though. Um, oatmeal. Ooh. As a kid, hated it. It would have been bad. As an adult, I love oatmeal. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just my back starts hurting and you're just like, oh my God, I love me some oats. There's a lot of things you can do with oats. I think oats or oatmeal is over underrated. Uh, a lot of people hate on oatmeal. I like oatmeal. Will I say it's my preferred? I'm trying to think, would I eat oatmeal over potatoes? Yes. Over a muffin? Yes. Banana bread, ham, fruit salad, bacon. Yeah. I think it lands right there. I wouldn't eat it over a really good biscuit though. Yep omelet oof, this is tough i've had some shit omelets i've had some great omelets uh this is another one of those i mean overall i think an omelet isn't my preferred form of eggs so i'm gonna put it in good because i would still slap an omelet um, i'd put it next to bacon for me orange juice i think orange juice deserves to be right next to apple juice i love an orange juice i think apple juice just barely dethrones it um, i like both kings of juices for breakfast i would say all right over easy eggs oh I, a hot hot take i fucking love over easy eggs your boy loves it raw that's what she said but i uh, love over easy eggs man just something about busting that yolk it goes with everything i could eat it alone i i love it i love it it goes good with avocado toast it goes good with rice it goes good with literally everything on this list except for sweets and even then i will eat over easy eggs by itself i'm actually gonna say i like over easy eggs more than french toast do i like it more than chicken and waffles yeah i i actually would say that i don't like it more than hash browns though that's where i draw the line a pan au chocolate those are those little like chocolate roll pastries uh, with the chocolate inside i'm gonna say something for some reason it's always too dry for me it's even more dry than a croissant on average so i'm gonna say it's just good let's say it right behind banana bread i love banana bread guys on um, pancakes you know a classic breakfast item people die for the pancake people will fight you over pancake waffle and 
the French toast debate, in my opinion, pancake is the lesser of the three. I know I'm in the minority, and I respect all those who pick waffle or all those who pick pancake or all those who pick French toast. But personally, to me, pancake is the lesser of the three. I'm going to put it in a great section because uh, it's still really good. I mean, it's a great breakfast item for a reason, but it's going to go at the end of great borderline good. I'd probably pick pancakes over a bagel. Actually, I don't think I would. I would have to put pancakes. You know, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put bagel right above pancake and great. Yeah, that's how, I, that's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling right now. All right, parfait. Great, solid, not, well, actually good. Not all that though. Like if I'm going to put a fruit salad here, it's barely better than a fruit salad because at least you get some granola and some yogurt. All right, pop tarts. Oof, this is tough. As a kid, this would have been best section. As an adult, I don't really eat pop tarts, pop tarts often. I don't choose to eat them. It's one of those things where if like the boys have it or like it's it's at someone's house, you're like, hey, you want a pop tart? I'm like, yeah, sure. Also, what flavor? There's some shit pop tart flavors, some great pop tart flavors. Overall, pop tart for breakfast. I eat it more for dinner nowadays. Um, uh, it's it's good. I think I feel the same way about pop tarts as donuts. Like there's some really good ones and there's some really eh, mid ones. Yep. A quiche. Oh, uh, quiches are mid, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I. I have yet to have a good quiche, but that's that's also probably my fault for just not having enough quiche in my day. I've only had three quiche that I can remember of, one as a child, and one in Paris, or two in Paris, France, and both of those were, eh, they're fine. So I think they're, I would take a hard boiled egg over a quiche. No, 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 I wouldn't. A quiche would land like right here. Okay. Raisin bread. God, people hate raisin bread. Why do people hate raisins so much? I love raisin bread. Only thing though, it has to be with cream cheese. Without cream cheese, it's not that good. Um, for that reason, I can't put it too high. I think I'd take raisin bread over some of these right here. Yeah, I'm going to take raisin bread right at banana bread. I feel like those are pretty neck and neck for me. Sausages. Uh, same way I feel about ham. Good. I can eat it by itself. Not that girl, not that great. I'd take it over ham though. Scones. Oh, I haven't had a scone in a while. Um, I like scones. Yeah, scones are a good time. Uh, I don't I haven't ha had enough scones to really rank it fairly. I feel like so. I'm just gonna put it right around the other like bready ones. Okay, scrambled eggs. Ooh, hot take. Uh, scrambled eggs are overrated in my opinion. Uh, people would put them in the best. I think they're fine. I think the best scrambled eggs you can get goes in great. The worst scrambled eggs you can get would go at the end of good because they're still scrambled eggs. Um, I like it more than an omelet, so I would put scrambled eggs right above bacon. Mm. Am I going to have to demote oatmeal? I, I feel like as for, for breakfast, oatmeal isn't as high as I'm giving it because I eat oatmeal at night. It makes you a little too sluggish. I'm, I'm going to downgrade oatmeal a little bit to right here. Okay. Smoothie. A breakfast smoothie. I, I drink smoothies almost every single day at night. However, for breakfast, dude, I would love a smoothie. I've had smoothies for breakfast for sure. It's going in a great section for me. I think this is the king of fruit breakfast items. Yeah, I think it's valid that it goes right at the end of grape. Yep, I'm good with that. A strudel, a strudel, a little German strudel. Um, I like strudel. I've had it a few times. I think strudels are pretty good. I'm going to put a strudel right here. Tea for breakfast? I don't know how I'm feeling about that, to be honest. I, I don't really like tea. Uh, I mean, I, tea's fine on an, like the average time, but even for breakfast, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to say it's mid. Uh, I'm going to say it is, actually, I would probably put it at the end of mid. It's not bad. Like I still need some tea, drink some tea. Toast. Um, toast and brother can, butter can be good, but like, again, it, I feel the same way with rice. It just doesn't carry the breakfast for me. Yeah, I'll put it right there. I'm going to go ahead and delete this bad list. I, don't, I just don't think that we have any like bad f breakfast foods because I love all foods. It's hard for me not like to like a food. All right, toaster strudel. Ooh, toaster strudel. I love toaster strudels, bro. I can't eat them anymore just because they're so bad for you. But as a kid, I love them. I mean, every now and then I'll, I'll crank one out. I think toaster strudels deserve to be like pretty fucking high. Would I take it over a cheese danish? Yes, I would. I'd put it right there. All right. We got waffles. Waffles is going in the best for me. I think waffles are the best of the three, but they're really neck and neck with French toast. So I'm going to put waffles right there. I think chicken waffles reign supreme out of all of them because you had fucking fried chicken. And you can put hot sauce on that bitch. This shit's so good. Um, yogurt. Uh, yogurt for breakfast is fine. I think it goes the same as like oatmeal feeling to me. 
and I would put it right behind parfait because parfait is literally the combination of fruit salad and yogurt. And there you guys have it. We just did a breakfast food tier list, and I know for sure this is one of those tier lists that no one is going to have the same tier list at all because there are so many foods for breakfast, so many polarizing debates. Like I can already tell there is a supreme fans for bananas for breakfast. I know that for sure. Same with like grits. Being in the South, people love grits, but personally, I just don't like it as much as some of these. Um, this is the king of breakfast items for me. All six, seven of these, I would love to devour for breakfast at any time of the day. Yeah. I mean, what can coffee, cereal, and hash browns? That sounds like a fucking perfect breakfast for me. Yeah, this is supreme. Uh, we got some great breakfast items. Sometimes I'll go in the out of the way for these, uh, but it, every now and then I will order them. And then good items, they either hit really well or you've had some bad ones in your day. And then just mid items that I just don't really care for to order. These are like the least things I order. Usually they're paired with something else, and I'll I'll eat it. Yeah, there's my list. Hey, we did it. Look at that. Hope you guys had a great breakfast today. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.